Hello, good evening everybody. My name is Dragan. Uh, my accent comes from Sarajevo. Uh, 14 years of Netherlands and uh, almost 14 years of Zaga, in case you're wondering where I'm from. Uh, Anna is a friend of mine and colleague, she's an English teacher, so I look at her if I, if I stop at the moment and if I'm looking for some words. So if you don't understand anything, just don't hesitate to ask. I can speak slower. Uh, we'll today, tonight, explore topics of goals. And I hope from different angles. I'm coach, basically I'm coach, but I'm actually coaching in different ways. Today I want to be like your hairdresser. You know what hairdresser does for all of us who goes there, after you finish your hair, they go around with a mirror and then you look different perspective of your beautiful new hair. That's what I want to do with you with goals. And for all those who are hoping tonight to set up goals, I will support you. But, I will give you something extra, you will meet tonight one very special person, which is not me. But that will come a bit later. I will ask you a question. Imagine, imagine one personal business goal for yourself. Just imagine. Don't tell me, don't tell anybody now. But. I will ask you, will you raise hand if this goal has to do something with achievement, something to do? Will you raise your hand? Okay, look around. How many of you? Okay, keep, keep hand, keep, keep hand along. Okay, yeah. Okay. Cool. Will you raise hand if this goal has to do something with uh, to be, to become? Look around. Okay. What's majority? What do you think? Hmm? Achievement. Achievement. Yeah, achievement. <coughs> Tonight we want to explore, explore both sides. Because actually we are very much in the to do side. To do, to do. And goal is very much related to in to do, in things we do. And as a coach, very often I hear a question. Uh, coming to my side saying, okay, tell me what to do. Okay, guys. A uh, special person is getting to you, almost. Did anybody dance tango? Mm -hmm. hmm? Yes? Yeah, good. Oh, I, I danced only, only for a while. And a good friend of mine is basically a teacher. And Cabaceo is a beautiful uh, custom from Argentina. In salons where they dance tango, they would sit separately, many women, different rooms almost, they could see each other. But they, they came up with Cabasel in order not to embarrass men who would like walk all the way towards the woman and ask for a dance, and she said no, imagine. And everybody can see that. And if she said no, then I can say, would oh, you like to dance? And she said, of course, uh, I'm second choice now. Huh? So to avoid all these pro problems, they would say Cabasel. And Cabasel is just Eye contact. From my side, from the men room, you send look or woman, send the look to the other side, and if your eyes remain, then it means like okay, we're, we're gonna dance together and we walk, we walk in the podium and, and we meet and we dance. So it's not male-female thing tonight. I would like to, when I finish explanation, I'd like you to stand up, look around to throw your cabaceo in this room and to find the person that you want to share your personal goal with right now. And when you find the person, you look to that person and you will say what is your personal goal for this year, one that you choose. Very short, max two sentences, and then you will hear what is the personal goal of the, from, from, from the other person. In a case, you don't want that to, be, to have Cabaceo with that person, you just look around. <laughs> <laughs> no, we know that. It's like, like being in an elevator, you know. It's a, okay, you just... You are free. So, it's not male-female thing. Is task uh, clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, this is going to be your, like, your Cabaceo partner for tonight, for the goal topic. And uh, please stand up. And when you meet and share, I'll explain it further. Okay, enjoy, guys. Okay.
Okay, this is very little sign of... Okay, okay, just keep standing, keep standing. Okay, this is... That's your Kamasel partner, tango partner for tonight. He's not gonna dance, but we'll be kind of back up. Now, you have uh, extra two minutes to find uh, another two people, one by one. And you have, for each time you have one minute, to explain, to share your personal goal, but not using the same explanation, same words as you did right now. So you will explain it in different way to second person, and then you will, and then I will read once, and then you will walk to the third person to explain it in totally different words, different way. So, so you will need to find two, two persons, one by one, and each one will get different explanation of your personal goal. Okay, great. Uh, would you like to share some experience how your goals developed? What was the evolution of your goals? Through different meetings. Yes? Uh, my first exploration was very practical. Uh, while my last uh, explanation was uh, more, more personal, uh, involving my feelings about the goal. Wow. Did somebody have something similar? Yes? No, I, I wanted to have a discussion. Uh, think, taking another perspective, you actually start thinking about it, is this really what you want? Great. Something else? Experience? Yes. Yeah, for me it got much harder because my goal is a very simple one, which yeah. is improve my marketing skills. Uh -huh. And to try to describe that in many different ways was a challenge for sure. Yeah. Wow. Great. So this challenge will help you to get out of the pattern because once you define, once you name your goal, and you keep it saying to everybody in the same way, yeah? And it's like your name, you know, saying your name, like, and then keep it. And keep it in that, in, in that small box, I, I would say. But what, what you want, we want here to explore the topic of goals beyond the, the goals as we know them. In the, in the work, I won't, I won't keep you for many slides, but I want to show you something. Uh, in, in the world of the coaching, where I'm coming from, we normally, we normally use the, uh, the the basic model for the coaching is, let's say, we call it grow. You, uh, the client comes, you define a goal, and we describe what is the reality, we see what are the options, and then we move forward. Very simple, huh? Yeah? Mm. Practical. But what is actually reality? What is, what is the reality in defining goals? What is the challenge in defining goals? I'll try to keep it very simple. When was the last time you were buying the plane tickets? Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. What is the first thing? Things, uh, what is the first thing you enter when you buy the ticket online? The, uh, the first the place I'm leaving from. Yeah. Not the destination. Sorry, guys. This is Croatian one. I took it from the Croatian side. It's saying like this is origin, guys. Where are you coming from? Where are you now? It's very simple to talk about destination. I would like to go there, but where from? And if you don't do it, if you don't feel it in you get error. Sorry, guys. <coughs> to put it in the other words, when you come to the, any big city, when you come on our main square, you look at the map and they're saying you are here. And big issue with the big challenge with the, with the goals is not just to define destination, but to be in peace with the current situation, with your origin, where are you now? And most of the time we are, the people we are in struggle with the, with the current situation. And to say honestly, people are tired today of setting the goals. And they say, please, if we don't have to set the goals. Or they say we can set the goals, but what's the purpose? What's the purpose behind it? So actually, the, the story of the goals of today is different than a few years ago. It's not just about goals. It's about something else. And it's not about how. 
Why it's not about how? Because this means you are here, as we remember, and this is G for go. I know, guys, if somebody says how to get from here to some goal, how many options we have here? Hmm? Millions. Millions. Infinitely. Infinitely, yeah. So imagine, so when you talk with some friends and say how, you said you have infinitely options. What they will say to you? That you are insane, yeah? <laughs> so it's actually, the, the, the thing, the story is very simple. Once you have very clear the points where are you now, and you are at peace with your origin, and you are clear with the, your destination where you want to go, you can go in a, as many ways you want. True? What's the problem then? Choose the right one. Choose the right one. Oh yeah, there are many. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Actually, that's a, that, that's a good one. You know the story about the donkey who couldn't choose if he's going to eat from the left or right side. And there were exactly same amount of the food and he couldn't choose right or left and he died. Poor donkey. <laughs> But why I'm telling this story? It's not, it's not a challenge in choosing one side. The challenge is turning back to the same equal opportunity. And that's why we are so not so happy as before when we go out of the shop with a perfect piece of cloth. Because we have in mind that crazy idea, maybe we could do it better. Or cheaper. If you would have come tomorrow. Okay, so that's one, of, one, one part of the story. Second part of the story, do you know these guys? <laughs> <coughs> Mother, I will try it now, Moon. Explore, 
to explore, uh, would somebody like to, to, to do some exercise here in front of everybody? In front. Does anybody want that? Yeah, okay, please come forward. Your name is? Luca. Luca. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Luca, let's, uh, let's do something. Okay. We'll put the policy down and we will we'll start with the moment where you are now. You are here now. Okay? Okay. So we'll put this on the ground so you are at the start position. And we'll put the goal somewhere. There. Yeah? Or, or somewhere where I cannot reach it. Okay, <laughs> do it yourself. Where you cannot reach it. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I'm, I don't put it down. Okay. Okay, so you are there. How is there? Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's good. Uh, I mean, it's fine. Yeah? It's fine. It's, 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 fine. it's comfortable. It's comfortable. Yes. How do your goals from your perspective right now where you are? It's a bit far, like five meters. I mean. <laughs> yeah? Uh, maybe I should... Um, the problem is there are no obstacles to my goal. Uh, <laughs> no obstacles? Yes, it's, it's, not, it's not fun to get to the goal. Put the chair up. Yes. So. <laughs> if we put the chair here, okay. uh, I, I, should, uh, I should jump up. That's more fun. To, uh, it's a challenge and uh, that makes the goal... Uh, make, make, it makes me want to go for the goal. Oh, okay, great. Wow, cool. So we can put more of <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's cool. But uh, if, if, you, if you can stand here, if you can go back just in a good position. So this is like, uh, this would be like before the goal, some obstacles, okay? Yes. How does that look like for you? Uh, I want to sit on the obstacle. Yeah, <laughs> just go for it. Sure. Yeah, and I, I can move the obstacle. Yeah, sure, why not? Great. Okay. I see my goal. I'm a bit closer. You're closer? And how how's there? Um, I don't know. I, I, I now want a different goal. Uh, this doesn't... Attract me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, what attracts you? Which goal? I don't know. Uh, <coughs> I think they. I, I just okay. did, I did this goal so I can put it uh, somewhere else. Okay. In my pocket. Okay. So, you are done? Uh, I'm done when I say I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But now, <laughs> what's, what's the new goal that you want? Uh, I don't know. How 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 is there like, the, the first goal? Uh, so it's uh, it's so it doesn't seem so far. It doesn't seem so far. I mean, I, mean, uh, I was thinking about it. Uh, I'm still a student, uh -huh. and. Uh, when, when you're studying for something, it seems so hard and everything. And when you finally pass that exam, it seems very easy. Okay. Uh, so, that's the same with goals. Okay. Where, where uh, which spot you were the happiest person? Uh, yeah, on the chair. <laughs> on the chair? Yeah. Okay. While going for the goal. While going for the goal. Thank you. And uh, this AG is after the goal, but you kind of Describe. Uh, and the F is future. Mm -hmm. Something like if you look this spot from a <laughs> year from now. Yeah. 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 Uh, so Can you imagine yourself a year from now? Uh, not, not really. <laughs> Six months? One month? Not even uh, tomorrow for today. No. <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> no, but uh, I can look back. So let's I, let's say that uh, I'm in the distant future, okay. looking to this goal, and I think uh, I, it's good that I did it. Great, great. Do you have any uh, comments, questions for Luca? Is Luca a plant? 
Second, imagine that you have successfully reached your goal. What does success look like? What is the current situation? <coughs> what assumptions you have? What is your first action towards the goal? When do you plan to take that very first step towards your goal? will be different once you meet your goal. What is missing now? Which options you have now? <laughs> what are the other options you have? If you had absolutely no constraints of time or money or power or help or anything else, what would you do now? What is the price of not taking action? What could stop or delay your journey towards your goal?
What will give you strength to overcome the blockage? Physically. Hmm? Physically. 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 Physically
Carl Jung. The goal thing, target, it's really pretty much male thing. You know, it's like a male energy. And the journey itself is much more female energy. We need both. We need both uh, doing and being. We need both journey and, and, and the goal itself. But we need wider picture. And this is one, one, one message I want to share with you. We need a wider picture. Even scoring, after the scoring the goal, the game is still going on. And this is what I want to share with you guys. With, with, uh, uh, after this exercise, there is only one topic I want to uh, share with you. And this is, uh, excuse me, I'm, it's, uh, ah, yeah. I, see, I think I see it now. And I need to go here now. The green one, yes. By the way, you will get all this stuff, uh, I think. We'll, po we'll post it on our Slack group. You can join yeah. our Slack community. Maybe a website, we'll see. Yeah. Basically, what we did in this exercise, just to, to stress a bit, we put kind of timeline. And uh, another thing that you can do any time with these types of the questions is actually that you use them to work, uh, to, to work uh, uh, these questions on your personal timeline. And uh, short time to answer the questions is actually proven to be more accurate than if you would think days and days on the topic itself. There are many researches that, that proves that we are more accurate if we take decisions in a few seconds than in days, months, years, whatever. So it's just that uh, moment that we need. So I wanted to, to, to share one more thing with you. We tend to show the strength, the superpowers, agility, and that's why we call it today agile and fragile. It's actually this, this fragile topic has to do with us being human being. And if you follow the, 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 uh, the recent uh, development in the in, in management, in, in the business, we are talking about mistake management, we are, we are talking more about humble leaders, we are talking more about human side of leadership. I also love to talk about humor side of leadership. We are really vulnerable beings. And once we realize that we are coming from vulnerable side, that, then we can have this power. When I work with the teams, what things bring, not just to change, but to transformation in the team, is when the leaders uh, can stand in front of the team and show the vulnerability. And, and be exposed as a not Superman and not a superwoman. And that's the moment where the team, where the people trust him or her. And that's truly sincere motivation. My question to you guys for the, the, the end of the day is which game do you play? Because the goals are just goals. But the real question is which game do you play? Do you play to win? Do you play for victory? Or do you play for fulfillment? I'm not saying what is right or wrong. You just be aware which game do you play. How do you call the game? Just a few words and then you will have a moment to share with your Cabasel buddy about your game. But I will just introduce you a little bit into so-called infinity games or thin games. Maybe you heard about it or not? Anybody heard about it? Yes. It's a part of game theory. No. Yes. Okay. Yes. And it's uh, you can you can find it. Uh, it's actually very last book from Simon Sinek. Yes. Yeah. Where. In, in tier games, finite game. Let's start first with the finite game. These are the games we know. These are games like in sports, you know. You have two teams, you have certain period of time, rules, procedures, 
you have even a different dress code for different teams, and they play to win. And it's a win-lose game. Somebody will win, somebody will lose. And the object is to win, and we know the okay. game. Yeah? Infinite game is a different kind of game. The goal is not to win. The goal is to stay in game. To keep playing. Infinite game is a bit more complex because it changes the rule of the game during the game. It changes even players who play the game during the game. It's very unpredictable. And when Simon Sinek talks about that, he gives a very interesting uh, example of it, uh, of the American-Vietnam American War. And he said if you would look at that war in the time when America was there, at the end of the war, and if you would see the result from the military point of view, everybody would say that America was winning. But if you look at it from this point of view, America was a finite player. They played to win. To win, to conquer. Vietnamese, not going to do politics, but they played to survive. That was serious play, but to survive, to stay in the game. America quit the game, they pulled back, and history said Vietnam is the winner. The question today is actually which game in a business, in your personal life, do you want to play? You can win by meeting your goals. Correct, Luca. But then we can say, maybe I want another one, maybe, it's not, maybe I see more, much more goals. So is it, is it really the question and game we play today in our business to meet the goals? Or the game behind the goals? When I was reading this, I remember the story when I was really young and, uh, and I was brought up in an era between the mountains and then my friend of mine went to Slavonia and he said, I saw fields of corn, you couldn't see the end. And I asked my uncle, what is behind the corn? He said, corn again. <laughs> and we were like two Bosnian guys thinking, you know, how oh, this can be. You know, we see the mountains, you know, we, we don't know about endless fields. What is this behind the, behind the goal? What is behind your cornfield? Believe me, talking, talking with people in business, hardly anybody has answered when I, when I ask them, are you motivated by 31st December of this year? Or any end, end date of this year? And these are the guys, I'm talking one to one, who are inviting me to motivate their people. Are you motivated? What motivates you? Which games motivates you? Not goals anymore. But game itself. My question to you, my dear friends, is which life is this game you play? And when we finish this, uh, this bit of the program, I would like to just invite you to just for a moment so that we don't move now at uh, this stage, that we can stay, uh, uh, that we can sit, that you meet once again your, your Kavasel partner, your exchange, your view on which game you play. And actually, the summary I want to give to you, small software program, still prove that I'm an engineer. <laughs> Which says, play. If there is problem, just zoom out. Look broader picture. Look picture from, not just from the point of view of the goal, and play on repeat. No way. I'm open for your questions, comments, whatever. Yes, I do have a personal question for you, which is actually going to be a repeat of one of your questions. 
What would you do right now if you had no limit on time, money, health, or power? If I had no limit on time? It's, it's, it's your question. It was on the, on the slide. Uh -huh. Your question. One of your questions. I would do the same as I do now. Again, the question was, no, you have absolutely all the money you can imagine, you have absolutely all the time you can imagine, you have absolutely all the health you can imagine, and what was the last? All the power, whatever that means in your life. At this very stage, really, honestly, I will do the same what I'm doing right now. I doubt it, but okay. <laughs> Maybe? No. Uh, I, think, I mean, I... Because it is, it is very personal, I will tell you. It's, uh, of course it is. Yesterday, yesterday I had some medical treatment which was really demanding. Yesterday I was feeling really fragile. Whole day. But actually brought me once again to that point of view to be thankful for what I have. For the teammates that I can share with you. Uh, for some other small things that I experienced today. And uh, you can call me not, not ambitious, but I have no huge project in my mind. Uh, because maybe the biggest project is actually that the few ideas, the few seeds that you came up with in some exercise you did, I, don't, I have no clue. Because this is my mission on this planet, at least how I see it. To work with people, to inspire them to be Socrates of the uh, 21st century, to provoke them a bit, to ask the question, so that, if, that you can discover, explore your journey. So I will do the same. Or you can ask me also tomorrow the same question, maybe I'll come up with something. <laughs> Who knows? That's the staying in game. Sorry? That's staying in game. That's staying in game, yeah. Exploring the current field. Not, uh, <laughs> not uh, winning, but staying in game. Staying in game, exactly. I want to stay in game, I want to play. I want to play. So if you want to play too, so let's play. <laughs> More questions, comment, anything that you want to share? Okay, thank you again. have networking in a minute. There's beer in the back. I think that most people have found that already. We also have some snacks. <laughs> uh, first, I'd ask that you please put your hands in the air. One hand, please. One. And leave your hand up if this is your first time at Hello Potential. So lots of new people. Thank you for coming. We really appreciate that you're joining our community. I hope that you uh, join us again. We have free events the second Wednesday of every month. And I hope the next time you bring a colleague or a friend so that they can experience what you've experienced today. So thank you once again, and see you next month.